Hi, I am Dr. Gautam Dash. I am going to demonstrate how to use this ultrasound simulator, Dorodia Simlearn ultrasound simulator. So once you are logging in with your email ID and password, you will be coming to this screen. And here you see lots of modules are there. Some modules are locked. You can open when you are having that password. Otherwise, this lumbar spine module is free. So I'm clicking on this lumbar spine module. And then you are going to get this image. And here you see on the corner, there is a you know the larger zoom out image of the back. And then some portion zoom in image and there is some grids here inside. And on the left hand side, we are having a monitor, just mimicking the ultrasonography monitor. And here, my cursor, what I'm moving. Once I'm taking this cursor inside this grid, you see, this is going to convert into a probe. And now this probe is in the long axis. You see, when I'm moving it, all these images are coming, just like in dynamic, like in video, so it is coming. If I'm going up and down, if I'm going from side to side, you see, from side to side also. Once you are outside the grid, you are not going to get an image. So you are going up and down, up and down, and all those different kinds of images are possible. And now, suppose you want to see it in the sort axis. So click on the sort. If you wish to study some of the image, you just click it. So it is freezed. And uh, you can see this freezed image on the left-hand side. Here, you can change the orientation just like the ultrasound probe has an aspect marker. So that orientation, you can change it, you see. If I'm clicking it, its orientation is changed. You can increase the gain. You can decrease the gain. You can increase the depth. You can decrease the depth. And uh, there is also leveling. You see, if I'm clicking on the level, so lots of yellow dots are coming. You just click on one of the yellow dot, and you see the leveling is coming. Leveling is not done everywhere. Leveling is done only where in some reference point where labeling is important. You can click on the other level areas also, and you see the labeling is going to change. And the, this is both for the short axis and long axis. I'm again unfreezing it. I'm clicking on the long axis, and now I'm again clicking on the level. You see now in the long axis, you'll be able to see the different levels in the long axis uh, of all these dual dots, which are reference. A lot of leveled areas are there. So now few other features. Like you wish to see the angle, toggle. Some areas toggling is important. Toggling feature is not there everywhere, but in some areas uh, toggling is important. Like when I'm clicking, these are the areas, points where you can toggle. You know, you, that means you can change your angle. You see, here now slider is coming. So if you are going sl sliding on this side, so this image is going to change. If I'm going to slide on this side, so image is going to change. Coming to the Doppler. If you're clicking on the Doppler, in some areas, again, not everywhere, some Doppler effects, you see, some areas, some arteries are blinking there. So in some, some of the areas where the arteries or blood vessels are important, so some Doppler facilities are there in some limited areas, not everywhere. So we can understand that here, you don't really need a volunteer. You don't really need an ultrasound machine. You mouse over this grid and it is getting converted into a probe. But again, for the best experience, touch screen with your finger is not a good option. So to have a real feelings that you are holding the probe, you should have a mouse. So our recommendation is use this with a mouse. It will be like just you are holding a probe and uh, in the desktop or in the laptop using the mouse, use it and you'll be having the best experience. Best of luck. Enjoy the ultrasound simulator.